Hello again, this is Madan. In the previous demo, we displayed our notification count and in this demo, we are going to display the actual notification text when the user clicks on the notification count. So let's come back to the code. And uh, to in order to display the notification count, we are going to use the bootstrap popover. So if we go to the get bootstrap.com and click on the JavaScript and then popover then we get the documentation on how to implement popover so to add the popover to any attribute to any element we need to add the attribute data toggle equal to popover and title we can give the title of the popover as well as we can specify the content uh, of the popover by data by using data dash content attribute so let's jump back to the code and uh, i'm here in the login partial.cshtml where our notification um, count element uh, is and uh, we are going to add a popover to this element so let's say data toggle equal to popover and let's give it a title of notifications notifications and if we save this and go back to the browser and refresh this then we won't see our popover because if i click on this then we see nothing because we need to initialize the popover manually so let's go back to our site.js file and the process to initialize the popover is same as for the tooltip that we did previously so let's just copy and paste it here and pop over here popover so all the elements that had uh, that has the data toggle attribute equal to popover we want to uh, display them as a popover so pop over popover let's save this and uh, this should initialize our pop popover and if i click on this then we get the popover with our title and now we are going to display our uh, notification text to the body of this popover but let's first uh, let um, but at first uh, let's change the let's give a couple of options to our popover so first of all i'm going to give a placement option placement bottom and uh, if we save this and uh, refresh and click here then it changes our placement now i'm going to give it the another property here another options called content and let's give it a function and we're going to return jquery and uh, notification dash content dot html and uh, what this does is it will return all the contents of the element that has the id of notification uh, content and display to the body of the popover of course we don't have a notification content element but we are going to create that shortly and we are going to we are also going to specify the another attribute called html to true so that the popover will parse and display the html contents now let's create our a new element notification content and append that to the body so jquery body dot append and we are going to create a div here div slash div and it will have the id of notification content and let's just give some content here so let's say notification contents goes here if i save this and refresh our popover then we should see this text uh, uh, to our to the body of our popover so let's refresh and click here and we get that text at the, to the body of our popover but if we see at the bottom of our website then we get that we, we get to see the content of that div here so in order to hide this we need to add another class here class equal to hide hide let's save this and refresh now our div has gone and when the user clicks on the notification count then they get the notification now in place of this notification hard-coded text we are going to get our notification text from the database and display that here so we have our notification result here and uh, let's create another variable here 
notifications equal to our notification is available in result dot user notifications we can test that by going here since we have logged our notification to the console and if we go to the console and refresh and uh, so we have a result um, we have user notification property available to our result so if we do result dot user notification then we get the notifications and once we get the notifications we are going to use a for each loop to loop for each notification so we have a notifications dot for each element and in that element each element represents the uh, notification in the um, array in the user notification array and that array has a notification property so we can get the notification by doing element dot element element dot notification so if we just log this for now console dot log and uh, let's see go back to the browser refresh and look at the error here let's see notification result dot user notifications this should be notification refresh and uh, at this time we have successfully logged our notification now let's bring this text here so to get the text we can do notification dot text and if we refresh then we get the notification text here now instead of logging this to the console we are going to construct the on order list from this notification and attach that to this newly created notification content div so let's define a, a new variable here variable result equal to uh, on order list and i have given the list group class to this and uh, once we get the notification then we are going to construct we are going to add that notification to our result stream so result equal to res plus we are going to create a li here and give it a class of list group item group item and close the list here and we are going to uh, put the text of the notification inside the list so you get the text of the notification by doing element dot notification dot text and once we complete adding our notification text to the list we need a we're gonna need to close our list so outside the loop we are going to do result equal to result plus let's close our another list slash email and after that we are going to append this res string to our notification content so we are going to use jquery notification content dot html and pass the variable here so let's refresh the browser and let's click on the notification count and we have successfully displayed the user notification text to our popover to the body of our of the popover so this is the end of this demo and we will continue improving this uh, notification feature in another video series thanks for watching have a good day